His Excellency Turkey Al Al Sheikh. He has so far put his money where his mouth is. It could get a lot bigger. Could be opening up in 2025. Boxing fans know the sport can be as much about strategy outside the ring as it is inside. For years, many fighters have been protected by their promoters, taking calculated, easy fights to build up their records. But that era might be coming to an end. In this video, we'll dive into how Riyadh's season and its promoter, Turkey al -Ashik, are changing the game. We are coming with new strategy, a new idea, a new vision, with sporting of the vision of 2030 in our country, to do and deliver to the market the best fight with good price yeah. and make the fight that people want to see it. We don't want to waste time. He has an unbelievable energy and love and passion for boxing. He feels that the sport is slightly fragmented and broken, and we've got to work together to deliver fans what they want. And no one can argue that so far, the fights that he's putting on are delivering for fight fans. He has a very sharp mind, and he has a vision for the sport to take it forward. Putting fighters up against real competition and offering life-changing financial incentives. Some of our favorite boxers, who seemed unstoppable, are now getting exposed in ways we've never seen before. So what exactly is Riyadh season? Launched in 2019 as part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan, Riyadh season is an annual festival aimed at transforming the kingdom into a global cultural and entertainment hub. Organized by the General Entertainment Authority, it brings together concerts, sporting events, food festivals, and cultural exhibitions over several months. Its significance extends beyond entertainment, fostering international tourism, boosting the local economy, and reshaping Saudi Arabia's global image. Riyadh's season also has a strong connection to boxing through Turkey al the chairman of the General Entertainment Authority and a key figure in promoting sports in Saudi Arabia. His efforts have brought major boxing events like the Clash on the Dunes, signaling Saudi Arabia's growing influence in the sport. These events have helped position Riyadh as a destination for world-class boxing aligning with the broader cultural transformation. By hosting high-profile fights and entertainment, Riyadh's season plays a role in growing boxing's fan base in the Middle East, with fighters and promoters eyeing Saudi Arabia for its lucrative opportunities. For you working together. We are blessed to have Turkey al here with us. He wants to make the big fights happen, and that's what the fans want, that's what the fans need. In the world of boxing, Building an undefeated record in a high knockout percentage has always been a key part of a fighter's rise to fame. But the truth is, many boxers have been able to protect their records by taking carefully selected fights, strategically avoiding top competition to maintain their invincible status. Tank Davis, for example. Davis is an explosive fighter with an undefeated record and a massive knockout percentage but there has been constant speculation among fans that his record has been carefully manufactured. Despite his obvious talent, Tank hasn't faced many of the top names fans have been demanding for years. He's stayed away from fighters like Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez, leaving many to question whether he's really tested himself at the highest level. Could it be that Tank's career has been protected? And is it time for him to face real, top-tier competition? In recent years, Saudi Arabia has emerged as a major player in the boxing world, hosting massive events that are impossible for fighters to ignore. Turkey al has been changing the game by offering fighters huge financial incentives to take on dangerous opponents. Unlike traditional promoters, who often keep their fighters protected to ensure long-term profits, al is putting boxers in real, competitive matchups. And the results? Some of the biggest names in boxing are getting exposed. Take Jared Anderson, for example. Oh, left hook. Oh, and a right hand. And all of a sudden, Anderson is down for the first time in his career. Anderson was touted as the next big thing in heavyweight boxing, an undefeated American prospect who looked unbeatable. But when he fought on a recent Riyadh season card, he finally faced real competition, and the cracks began to show. Another uppercut. Is this the end of Anderson? Anderson struggled, revealing that maybe his protected rise to fame wasn't all it seemed. The first Riyadh season card that really shook the boxing world featured Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk. Fury was seen by many as unbeatable, 
He had dominated Deontay Wilder and had a record that seemed unstoppable. But when he stepped into the ring with Usyk, a technical master, fans started to see that Fury's dominance wasn't guaranteed. Fury's vulnerabilities were on full display, and while some expected him to roll over Usyk, the fight was far more competitive than anyone imagined. It proved that when fighters are finally tested by top-tier opponents, their perceived invincibility can quickly fade. The Riyadh season card also gave us one of the biggest upsets in recent memory. Dimitri Bivol vs. Artur Beterbiev. After Bivol shocked the world by beating Canelo Alvarez, many assumed he was the new king of the light heavyweight division. People believed that he would handle Artur Beterbiev, who doesn't have as big a name. But when Bivol and Beterbiev clashed on the Riyadh season stage, Bivol ended up losing in shocking fashion. It was a major upset that had fans reevaluating everything they thought they knew about these fighters. No longer protected, Bevel was exposed when he faced an equally dangerous yet underrated opponent. Now this brings us back to Tank Davis. While many fighters have embraced the challenge and payday that comes with fighting on a Riyadh season card, Tank has made it clear that he won't be stepping into the ring in Saudi Arabia anytime soon. In fact, Tank has even joked that he won't talk to promoter Turkey Alashik unless he sent two Ferraris first. Fans are now wondering, is Tank ducking the smoke? David, he said to me, send to me two Ferrari to play in Saudi Arabia. I said to him, we will send you two gloves if you want to play in Saudi Arabia. That's it. With fighters like Jared Anderson and Dimitri Bivol being exposed on Riyadh season cards, is Tank afraid of the same fate? It's a question that boxing fans can't ignore. Is Tank Davis avoiding real competition because he knows his record has been carefully curated? This is the Tank Protection Program. This has been going along for a long time, people. Bringing fighters up from a lower weight class to get in there with Tank. Tank looks spectacular. It's a cover-up. I'm gonna tell you right now, I think Tank is a good fighter. I don't know how great he is. From the looks of it and the matches that he's been having, the dude looks like a total fraud. Furthermore, there has been tension between Turki Al Sheikh and Mexican boxing superstar Canelo Alvarez after a series of remarks and social media exchanges. You've been talking about Mexican fighters. Well, you've been going back and forth on Twitter with a Mexican fighter in Canelo Alvarez. What's the update there? There is a lot of uh, not clear in this situation. I just announced he is not in our map, and this is our right to have it because we send a lot of, uh, of interest offer for him and he doesn't respond with what we think it is good for boxing. And this is his right. But what did bother me, he started these things and he said he respect me, but he doesn't respect what we are doing in boxing and I don't understand it. What we are doing to the boxing is helping boxing and helping to have a great fight. I don't understand. We give you good offer, and we give you good fight. You don't want it. Okay, keep it in your way. But he started this thing. The root of the conflict is believed to have started when Al Sheikh made comments or gestures perceived as disrespectful by Canelo or his camp. While the details of the initial spark remain speculative, many believe it stemmed from negotiations and dealings around Canelo's participation in high profile events. Al Sheikh, a key player in bringing major international boxing events to Saudi Arabia, has a reputation for being vocal on social media, often using his platforms to promote sports in the kingdom or address controversies. Canelo, a high-profile fighter, has been a target for potential mega-events in the region due to his star power. However, tensions grew as speculation about failed negotiations or disagreements surrounding business terms became more apparent. Wait, 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 take it easy. Um, my response to Turkey is this. Yesterday, they, they text me. They text me and say, we can talk about the fight in February with Crawford. Yeah, they call me, they text me yesterday. And I say, look, I'm not gonna talk about any other fight. I'm focused 100% on this fight. Look, I don't like the way he talk. I'm in this position. If he wants to work with me, it's in my way, not in their way. What was I don't he need like, it. It's, it's, it's not, a, it's, it's not the, 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 yeah. the way to approach. It's not the way to approach to me. Look, I respect everybody and I respect Turkey. But I look, if, if he wants to work with me, it needs to be in my way. With the rise of Riyadh's season and Turkey Alashik's new approach to promotion, boxing's landscape is changing. 
Fighters can no longer rely on their promoters to protect them with easy matchups. They're being forced to face top competition, and for many, it's exposing weaknesses that we've never seen before. We've already seen major upsets with Jared Anderson and Dmitry Bivol's shocking loss to Artur Beterbiev. And with more big fights on the horizon, it's clear that Riyadh's season is here to stay. The era of protected fighters may be coming to an end. With the massive financial rewards that Riyadh season offers, boxers have little choice but to step up and fight real competition. And for fans, that means we'll see more of our favorite fighters being tested in ways we never have before. But for fighters like Gervonta Davis, the question remains, will they rise to the challenge or will they continue to avoid the spotlight in Saudi Arabia? Let us know in the comments. Do you think Tank Davis is avoiding real competition? And who do you think will be the next fighter exposed on a Riyadh season card? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into the world of boxing, and I'll catch you in the next video.